The petition filed at the Travis County Courthouse began with a short and desperate declaration. Kate needs an abortion, and she needs it now. The request was for a temporary restraining order against a new Texas law that restricts abortions. After an online emergency hearing was held Thursday morning, Travis County Judge Maya Guerra Gamble granted the TRO. During a news conference, attorneys for Kate Cox indicated the ruling is not just a victory for their client, but also sends a broader message. Abortion is health care. This case proves that abortion is essential, life-saving health care, and the judge recognized that immediately. As long as abortion is prohibited in any part of this country, pregnant people will suffer. According to court documents, Kate Cox is 20 weeks into a pregnancy and was recently told by a Dallas doctor that her baby has a condition that may lead to death before or shortly after birth. Lawyers for the state argued that Cox was not in immediate danger. After the ruling, the attorney general's office sent a warning letter to the hospitals where Cox may try to get an abortion. They were told the Travis County court order would not shield them from civil and criminal liability. It was also noted that the doctor for Cox did not seek a second opinion about her pregnancy to determine if she was qualified for the medical exception to the state law. Amy O'Donnell with the Texas Alliance for Life spoke to me about the case. This is an attempt to circumvent the exceptions in our law by broadening that door such that a pregnant woman with an emergent medical condition, which is not what our law recognizes under our life of the mother exception, would be allowed to receive an abortion if possibly maybe perhaps down the road their condition might pose a threat to their health or pose a risk of substantial impairment of a major bodily function. It's it's good to note that Mrs. Cox's health situation has not arisen to that point yet that she falls within that exception. Attorneys for the Center for Reproductive Rights were hired by Cox because of their involvement in another high profile abortion case. The legal team last week went before the state Supreme Court representing 20 women and two doctors. They argued that the exemption clause in the state law is too vague. We are asking the Texas Supreme Court to, um, well, well, the Texas courts in general, to clarify the scope of the medical exceptions and to the extent that they are so narrow that they impinge on uh, patients' rights to life and health and uh, to their future fertility. Uh, we're asking them to declare the statutes unconstitutional in um, as applied to those circumstances.